If I could, could forget him, baby, I would. Please believe in It's my birthday. It is 12.35 on July 15th. It's my birthday. I'm 26 today. I can't believe I'm that old. I literally just turned 25. I'm still wide awake, as you can see. I did my makeup, I straightened my hair. Um, I did my makeup because I needed to film some TikToks. I only got like one good one. So I'll do the rest later when we get to the hotel. Um, so backstory, I wasn't born until 2.30 p.m. on this day and so growing up my parents wouldn't celebrate my birthday it had to be celebrated at 2 30 like they would tell me happy birthday but like i couldn't open presents until 2 30 i couldn't eat my cake until 2 30 because technically i wasn't born yet oh well but so i filmed crazy enough i filmed this entire makeup look and didn't press record so i had to pick up my mom from the airport at 7 30 in the morning and i still have clothes all over my floor so that's what i'm doing right now Hopefully I wake up at seven so that I can clean the kitchen and I may have to stop and get gas, but um, I'm trying to like put stuff aside that I'm gonna take with me to while I'm at it. So yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys in the morning. <laughs> Like when they know that they're not taking that exit, they wait until the very last minute to get over. Like my guy, my guy, you had so much more opportunity and you could have just poof, be gone. Don't let you do strong. Like, whoop. So we are at the hotel. We are staying at the Thompson Dallas in downtown Dallas and it is so nice. This is just the bathing suit I'm wearing. It is from um, Pretty Little Thing. I really want to say it was only, when I bought it, it was only like $20. So yeah, straighten my hair. And since Pretty Little Thing's shoes are L Target. And I'm just going to put the cover up on in a hat. So I'll see you guys when we get down at the park.
Okay, so it's the next day. I had an amazing birthday. If you are in the city of Dallas, Dallas surrounding areas, San Antonio, Austin, or Nashville, yeah, I think those are the cities. The Thompson Hotel, by far, 10 out of 10, best experience. I will be coming here all the time just to like enjoy the amenities that they have, but also, um, this is gonna be, I'm gonna do like a staycation here like once a year, once a quarter, whatever, because this was truly, truly amazing. Um, we went down to the pool and had a pool day and the drinks were awesome. The people that we met were great. I think they're getting ready to open up the pool right now. Yeah, the pool was great. Drinks were amazing. Food was great. We then went to the Catbird for dinner. It's like their 70s inspired like lounge and they have a DJ and it's cool, but like the food is like kind of tapas, shareable kind of, and I like wanted dinner. So, um, definitely a like cute little girls after drink like after work drinks whatever that's a cute place to go <clears throat> then we went up to the monarch that's above the national and the food the drinks so good i have been really into spicy margs lately um this past year um that's been my jam if I get a margarita, I'm not a big margarita person, but if I do get a margarita, I do want a spicy one. And their spicy one literally tasted like they dumped a uh, bottle of hot sauce in it. And it was amazing. Like, it was great. So, yeah, that's what we did yesterday. And now my mom and I are about to check out. And um, we are going to go explore some little nuggets in parts of Dallas. Okay, I hope you can hear me. My mom's in the shower, so maybe a little loud. It's a lot later in the day. It, it's like nine o'clock. It's July 16th. I don't know if I said that today for my birthday, but yeah, it's about nine o'clock. We're about to get ready to go to bed. It's been a long day. We left and checked out at the hotel, and then we went and ate breakfast at the original Pancake House, and that was super good. And then we, um, drove around some and then we went shopping went to sephora went to north park mall um went to ulta and so i wanted to show you guys what all i got from sephora and ulta so this is the bag so because yesterday was my birthday i got my birthday gift this is from laneige this is the sleep the lip sleep mask which i'd been wanting a lip mask and then the water sleeping mask they're just like travel sizes obviously you guys know beauty insider is not full size and then the water bank moisturized cream and i was wanting something new for oh, that smells really good for at night so that works it smells good too but it tastes like watermelon that smells nice and clean okay so i have been wanting a new foundation really bad and i've been wanting a stick foundation for like for the summer and just going into the winter and so i finally got the hourglass vanish stick foundation and i got it in the color walnut and i will show you guys this is what the packaging looks like this came out like back in 2019 i think this is what it looks like um it was either walnut or chestnut or were the ones i was gonna get and chestnut was just too dark it was a little bit too it was it was a shade too dark a little bit shade two shades too dark but it was also really red so oh i can't believe i'm an idiot okay so i didn't remember that i got this and then i went to ulta and got some more brow products too and so i got the honestly beverly hills brow definer in ebony i think no dark brown and then i got two more like uh i guess you could classify this as high-end where i got two more like drugstore versions of this so i'm so excited about this because i've been using pattern beauty for like a month which is tracy ellis ross's um hair care line and i started using it two months ago on my curly hair my natural hair my hair is flourishing okay so i've been using the i've been using the heavy conditioner for coilies and the heavy conditioner for tight textures i've been using those two well, I really wanted to try, and I got, I got like the small like travel sizes from TJ Maxx and they're 
they were four dollars well it's Ulta they're nine dollars and I've been wanting to try the leave-in conditioner the um gel and the uh, one of the shampoos but I just didn't know if I wanted the hydrating one or the purifying one and so I saw that she has these travel bags and so the pure both the shampoos are like in the $20 range and then each of these small travel ones are $9 a piece well you get three of these for $9 and I wanted to try the leave-in conditioner and the shampoo the hydrating shampoo or the shampoo in general so, so let me just get this rather than getting another shampoo or another conditioner and a big shampoo and I don't even like it so I love that it comes in this travel bag but this is the one that I've been using the um, heavy conditioner for coilies and then this is the leave-in conditioner that I've been wanting to try this is a hydrating shampoo and this is the same thing so yeah as soon as I wash my hair for being straight I will use these that's the best products and I can't wait to try all of them but I wanted to try them in the smaller sizes before I got the larger which I really do like that she did that because trying to get my big like conditioner and, and shampoo and stuff in one of like the travel size bottles from the drugstore is so difficult and I now I can just throw this whole thing in my bag rather than having to worry about transferring things from a big bag to, I'm a big bottle just on a bottle so then I got the curl gel and this is for shine define and hold so I got the morphe to hide and peak concealer and this is a corrector now I'm gonna use it as a highlighter and I got it in the shade yeah. A peak of golden it's medium tan with olive undertones <clears throat> and this is the box it came in this is the packaging which i really like i think the morphe 2 stuff is like face uh what's it called face and like skincare i think and then got two brow products both from nyx one is the fill and fluff and the other is the micro brow pencil and I actually hate their micro products but because it's just it's too small like I'm too heavy-handed so I got the uh, fill and fluff in espresso I like this packaging it's thick I like that and then this is what it looks like literally looks just like the um, brow definer from Anastasia and then this is their micro pen brow pencil which I've used before and I like they're just like I said I end up breaking them and this is in the color chocolate and then for my birthday gift yeah, a tart mascara which I didn't need any more mascara but what is this is the man eater mascara that looks like a caterpillar if you ask me and then this is the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. I actually was just saying the other day how my hair is really, really frizzy. My straight hair and my curly hair is really frizzy. So maybe this will work for my straight hair. I do like Living Proof uh, Detangling Cream. That smells good. I do like Living Proof Detangling Cream. And I did just see that they came out with a curly line. And then I need a primer because my pores in this Texas heat are showing out. This is from uh, Ulta and this is their mattifying face primer. And it's like, oh yeah, it's silicone, which I love. So, got that. And then last but not least, this is from Bumble and Bumble. And it's a hairdresser oh no this is an invisible oil primer heat uv protector i guess it's for this is for very dry it's for drying very dry hair i guess it's for like i don't know but it smells great whatever it's for okay well yeah that's everything that i got hey girlfriend so it's sunday july 18th um my mom left this morning. I took her to the airport at like five o'clock and she's already back in Nashville. Um, I came home, went back to sleep and just been moseying around when my best friends called me. <clears throat> um, and we talked for about an hour and a half while I, that's a horrible angle, about an hour and a half while I unpacked. Um, my bag last night we went to dinner with one of my mom's old managers 
Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, last night we went to dinner with one of my mom's old managers. She's so nice. Um, and had a, just had a good time with him and ate at something fish grill out in the shop Plano, and it was good. I got oysters and I finally had some good oysters. I've been having sucky ass oysters for the last few months and I finally got some good ones. We did that. And so right now I just, I have on my pajamas still, but I'm about to change out of my pajamas and it's about four o'clock late, but I'm about to change out of my pajamas and um, just put some more lounge clothes on, maybe put like a lounge dress or something. lounge dress or something on and um I have to edit a video that I have to send over to a brand tomorrow there's not going to be a video that goes up um on YouTube tomorrow as you can see my hair my hair being straight lasted a whole or still straight obviously but it's still straight but it being like slick like silky in the front the pool sweat that out it's like been gelled down like right here and it looks a mess but it's out so i've just been wearing it in a top ponytail like top knot worn in a top knot yesterday but like a top ponytail or whatever just you know something loose so i don't get like a hard crease in it ow <clears throat> yeah like that this is like my favorite way to wear my hair but you know, I only straighten my hair once every so often. So yeah, I've got some videos I need to edit. I need to answer a whole bunch of emails. I need to get all of my pictures on Pinterest today. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. I posted two TikToks and I'm gonna link them below. I posted two TikToks since this vlog started and one from the last vlog and one during this vlog, I posted two TikToks and they actually have done really good. Like. I think doing them um, not dance ones, like getting on the trends of like the voiceover ones, because those are my favorite. Chef's kiss, they'll be doing really good. And I there I can't wait to get the rest of my furniture in here so I can finally do some home decor ones. I am going to Louisville in August and so I need to get flights and stuff situated. Also need to get my flight situated for I'm going to Pittsburgh in October. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm so glad I had an amazing birthday. Um, I can't wait for my trip in October to Mexico. That's also what I'm doing. Um, I can't wait for that trip. And I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their neighbor to come be a part of the girlfriends. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>